Kamigawa Neon Dynasty products are available for pre-order now at CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code CGB5 and you'll get a 5% discount on your order and a sweet Covert Go Blue Wolf token for free. Pre-order now at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, today in the arena. The ultimate evil. I guess if you just really can't beat him, it's time to join him and be the top decking crazy luck sack that hopefully we can be. This is, is it, Mill. Yep, we're, we're coming for the deck. We're going straight to the deck all the way. Gonna totally get him. This. Hey, the, the thing about Is It Mill that's kind of strange about this is it's basically a combo deck along the lines of what Auron's Epiphany Galvanic Iteration was. You need to get up to about 7 or 8 mana, and then if you have enough ways to copy an effect like Tasha's Hideous Laughter, which exiles the top of their library until they've exiled cards with mana value 20 or more, then you just took out their whole deck and there's nothing they can do. And they can, and you can completely, completely win the game like that. So we've got four eight copies of Dual Strike and four copies of Galvanic Iteration. We've got four copies of Laughter, four copies of Maddening Cacophony. I've seen some other YouTubers do it. Um, and for sure they put Mill on the map while I was on my vacation and now it's just kind of lurking here. But I think that you really do want to run all of the combo. I, I, I think that you need all the pieces. I don't like trimming on either one of these because on the crucial turn, you really need like a copy and a mill and another mill or a mill and a copy and another copy to absolutely finish the job from like 40, you know, 30 to 40 cards. Another key card in the deck is Rune Crab. Rune Crab over here just going right to their library and taking out all kinds of things and combining it with Evolving Wilds is actually absolutely worth it here. Another classic play is playing Rune Crab with Fading Hope protection so that you can use it multiple times, though Fading Hope is mostly a defensive measure. Look guys, if you made it this far in the intro, you're probably in for the long haul and not one of those people who shows up just long enough to leave a nasty comment that it's not the format you like, but let's put it like this. If you hate alchemy so much, just kill the format. What do I mean? Well, if there's a bunch of control mages and mid-range gamers out there having fun with their Inquisitor Captains and their Town Razor Tyrants and their Key to the Archives, these four mana threats and cards, just get into alchemy. You don't have to craft a single alchemy card for this deck. We are playing alchemy with zero alchemy cards. Just go in there, craft no alchemy cards, buy no alchemy packs, and just play this deck and mill out all the people who, you know, in, in your opinion, wasted their wild cards, unquote. And just mill them. Just go and just toxically mill them. Now, why don't we play this in Standard? Because Standard has good aggro decks, like Mono White and Mono Green. Those, they kind of punch you in the face and don't let you get up. But in Alchemy, it's supposedly a much more dirtlier metagame. There's a lot more like black-white tokens, and there's a lot more sanguine brushstroke, and there's a ton of key to the archive. And those are the decks that, honestly, they, they, they like have nothing on this. There, there's nothing they can do. Um, this is going to be another case of the stream records, but I tried to keep it YouTube friendly, but some of the games from the stream I had to put in this video because they were so good. And one of them, you're just going to like see control decks can do nothing against this to the point that beating control decks with this deck isn't even interesting. So what's interesting is seeing it try to race the aggro decks. And if there's too much aggro in the meta, if there's too many werewolves out on the prowl, this deck absolutely sucks. Don't run it. But if you if you hate losing to control, if that is your actual I hate it, you can run this and totally pants them. It's probably like 90% win rate against control and 10% win rate against werewolves or something stupid like that. But the deck is, uh, it's a treat to play and some of the games you're about to see are absolutely insane. So, copy your mill cons, play your turn one crabs, remove a few things along the way so you don't die. The force will be with you. Always. Let's dive in. Let the mill nonsense begin. Crab. Zero crabs. Zero crabs. It's not a great control hand either because it's on the draw. 
so I guess we just have to hope this is a control matchup, because I don't think it's worth mulling, but... Like, okay. Okay. What you doing over there? What you gonna do? I am getting concerned. I'm getting concerned we're not going to draw enough land. And if our opponent just sits, they're doing well. Bailed out. Don't think we want to foretell while we could divide something. I've got to keep hitting land, guys. This probably isn't the best thing to target, but if I miss the next land drops, I could fall behind a lot. Draw is seven. Eight. So I guess we need this. I can't believe I'm doing this. But I'm doing it. If we have enough land, we can just copy the laughter more than they have counter spells when they tap mana to do anything, but we need the land to do it. Because we already have plenty of copies here. I think if we try to kick the laughter, it gets divided. It could also get Jwari, but they've already played two. Do we let them have a divide here? Or do we just copy the laughter? I think we just copy the laughter. They'll bounce one, but then they'll lose some amount of their deck. We could just wait for them to take an action. If they don't take an action, they're kind of in trouble. Kind of? They are in trouble. Like, they're the one who has to somehow win. Plus, they're helping us. They're making their deck smaller every single turn with all these card draw spells. Silly opponent. Discard. All right. When do they hold Breaker Horror? Next turn. They're in a bit of a rush to do it. We have a fading hope to keep it off our back for one turn. But once they start leaving up enough mana to hold Breaker Horror, that's when we want to start pushing the agenda. The mill agenda. Lovely. So we have another land. I could put the divide in my hand and cast the laughter. They'll probably just counter it or bounce it. But what does Divide really do here? I guess it screws with the horror if we want to do that, but I don't really want to do that. I think we let Divide go. It's kind of a tough call. I don't really want to let Divide go. I love Divide. Divide and I are friends. We go way back. All right, next turn the nonsense definitely begins. Deluge again. Less deck for me to destroy. Do they know I'm Mill? They don't know, do they? They probably don't know. Okay, so now they're setting up for their hole breaker. Discard to hand size, you fool. Eight mana. One, two, three, four, and this. Uh, but we really want a Fading Hope the Hole Breaker, so we want to use seven. We want to use seven. Uh, 
All right. Hello. Oh my god, it's Holebreaker Horror. Okay. Uh this can be countered now, right? How much deck do they have? 40? So, we can Jwari it, and then they pay the one, and then they can't interact with this. But they'll have Hullbreaker Horror. But starting the next turn, we can Fading Hope it, then do the rest of our turn. Do you pay one? Would you like to pay the one? Yep, counterable now in alchemy. And now, hand over your library. Okay. 18 cards to go. 18 cards to go. Many keys died on this day. All right. We fading hope you're Hullbreaker Horror. Okay, they can recast it, and they have two mana. What are they going to do with two mana? Having a braid? They can bounce one of the things. So, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. They probably can't stop it all. Do we have enough blue? We have just enough blue. I Galvanic Iteration. I Galvanic Iteration. Bra! What you got? Can they do it? They have a one mana spell that stops one of them. They have another one mana spell, but they have to bounce their own horror to use it. Okay. Last laughter. Eight cards. Oh no. All right, we need to draw another copying effect. We need another copying effect. That'll do. Let's be real. All right, so they can flash in the horror. Then they can, if they have another pair, and I mean two one drop plays, they're still in this game. Plus, we can just cast this multiple times, right? They can play this, bounce it, we play it again. Bounce it, we play it again. I mean, who cares? It's not a counter, right? Say goodbye to your little library, yes guy. They haven't conceded. What's wrong with them? There we go. I cast laughter. <laughs> I guess it has to be hideous. Is that hideous? Trying too hard? Probably. Crab! We have a crab sighting. On the draw is kind of sad. No evolving wild is kind of sad. You're right, my videos have no dislikes. No, my videos have no dislikes. That dislike button. <laughs> I can see them. I understand my dislike button. There. All right, keepsies. Crab. Is this video going to get disliked for being mill? Or is it going to get liked for slaughtering everything? Um. Do we play the crab? Do we play the crab? Maybe we just fading hope what they play, and then play the crab the next turn to make sure we get mill so it doesn't get thundering re rebuked. Gorgeous.
The partners! Wait, is this our third match against wolves? The other two weren't pretty. This one won't be pretty either. I guarantee it. There's nothing pretty about Mill versus Wolves. This is the nightmare. We could make them have an untapped land. If they don't have untapped land, the Jawari could get them. They usually have everything they need, in my experience. Let's make sure that we keep hitting lands. Do we have time for this? Might even find a removal spell. I guess we have to try. Nope. Easy. Oh, but then the greed got them. Maybe. They might go for the pack leader here. Oh, they're thinking about it. You can't play too soft, opponent. If you play too soft, you could get milled. That would be very embarrassing for you. Stop touching my crab. Well, make a call, opponent. The F is that. Actual coward. <laughs> Actual coward confirmed. Wow. Dude, did they just stream snipe me? That is so bizarre. Because I could have just played the Jwari there. It makes no sense for them to do that. Was that was that full snipage? I don't know, man. Um, we could put the land in our hand and play nothing. And play this this turn, and the next turn have Galvanic Laughter and try to win that way. Or we can put the Demon Bolt in our hand, play this land and foretell it. And then the next turn we Galvanic Demon Bolt, kill their two things, but our life total will be pretty low. And then we don't have Galvanic Laughter, which I think we need, right? Right? Guys, I think we just go for Galvanic Laughter. It won't be good enough though, will it? The Crab didn't do enough. Galvanic Laughter isn't going to hit 40 cards, right? So we need something else? This is it. We've got to commit, guys. We're committing one way or the other. I guess we just hope we survive and then top deck one more way. All right. I wish I'd just played that Jwari and gotten that extra three cards. It could cost me. Their timing was so weird. I didn't think they'd do it that way. I just, I thought that was crazy. Okay. Could be worse. All right, this comes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our opponent's a weirdo, I've decided. They just they just don't like playing by conventional wisdom. They just they just go weird. If we have a land next turn, that does it, but uh how can we ensure that? Oh, I know how. I know how to ensure that. No wait, we need to foretell this too. Can we buy two turns at 14 life? Call it 16 life. Can we buy two turns? I think we can. So do they have Snakeskin Veil as their last card? Let's find out. Okay, not Snakeskin Veil. 
We can also just draw untapped land. If we draw untapped land, we get them. If we don't, we have to buy a turn with whatever we draw. So hopefully we don't draw another copy spell or another mill spell. We really want a land or a, a removal. Mm-hmm. 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 Thirteen. All right, guys, we're going to draw this land, right? Ugh! What do we say around here? Never. Didn't. Have it. All right, but watch them have one mana, right? Watch them have what? Watch them have one card left in their deck somehow. <gasps> no! No! Not like this. They still have to finish the job. They're one short, potentially. Actually, I see. I can see it. But let's see if they see it. Oh, guys, they can't attack. No, they don't have it. They can't attack with the pack leader. They had it. With, like, pack leader for nine, but if they attack with a pack leader, they draw and they lose. No! That was it! Oh my god, if they had attacked with the pack leader, my heart would have sung. No! <laughs> Kurtz, you werewolves! Uh. Smalls. Still zero crabs. Okie doke. But remove a thing, remove a thing, copy a thing, we play. I'm here for my island. Opponent with a mulligan. We don't want them to mulligan too many times. It puts more cards back in their deck. The tenacious pup? Oh no! We better prepare our demon bolt for what comes next. It's probably gonna hurt. Naturally. Alright, they're doing day-night stuff. Uh, I really do want to galvanic iteration. Maybe we can get them to play a storm seeker if we flip it to night here. Or we could kill this now. If they play a Storm Seeker, it hits us. It ends up being Knight the next turn anyway. If they play a Tovalar or a Storm Seeker, they want to play both pre combat. So we pass. It's Knight. And we'll hopefully get one of those two creatures so that we can copy our Demon Bolt. Ah, not really what I was after. You're not what I was targeting. Also, they might Snakeskin Veil us, which could be Sag. But this is a really tough matchup anyway. You kind of need things to go right. And if they have the, like, I also have Snakeskin Veil. All right. Then the game is over like that. If they have it all, they have it all. <laughs> V-neck incoming. Zero crabs. Zero removal, too. So I hope we get a matchup that's not green. Oh well.
Good game. <laughs> nope. So, this deck is really good. How about a crab? What's a guy gotta do to get a crab around here? Okay. Well, this is just straight mill hand. We're on... We're on the move. Our opponent with a mulligan, two mulligans. I always think when they're mulliganing, they're an aggro deck. Because they need a specific start, whereas controls like, I have two lands and five spells I keep. Three straight... Three straight wolf decks. Three straight! Uh, this is mono green. They play mono green. All right, guys, we're just going straight to the deck. We're just going right after it. Every single turn, we are going to cast some mill-related spell. I really want to copy the laughter, don't I? Yes, I do. I want to copy the laughter. Can we get to the laughter turn? Five mana. Can we make it that far? I believe. We're coming for your deck. Get it all in the bin. Here comes the Blizzard Brawl. Oh, that makes you draw when it attacks. <laughs> oh, that was... You have unwittingly activated my trap. Falling right into my trap. Now, we could just kill these. Could kill both, but then we don't have iteration. Forget that. We're gonna kill their mana source. I'm gonna just dome them. 25 cards to go, baby. All right, land. Come on, land. Untapped land. I summon the untapped land. To the top of the deck! Thank you. You're not gonna like it. <laughs> You're not gonna like it. No! At least... Oh. Well, there you go. The animation didn't complete, but we know the truth. We know what a zero card library looks like. <laughs> they, they didn't just they just didn't want me to see these precious like cards left in their deck. Actual zero up here. <laughs> Alright. Dude, they had a great draw. They had a great draw. Turn one pup, turn two sculptor. What does a guy have to do to get double crab draw? Single crab draw, double wilds. Let's go. We don't have a fading hope, which is something I like to play with the crab. There's no way they have Blood Chief's Thirst. No way they can kill this on turn one. I'd blow him a kiss, but apparently my emotes disabled themselves. Oh. <laughs> but why? <laughs> Your scry, though. Your scry is useless. This scry. This scry right here. Useless. To the top. But your scry, though. Two test of talents in the bin. You think, uh, you think someone's trying to prove a point to us? Well, I'll just play Test of Talents, and you will not beat me. Haha. <laughs> How can you test my talents if they're all in your graveyard? What the heck is this deck, though? <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> I 
the app. All right, five mana win game, probably. Has mana? Has mana. Uh, probably gonna bounce the Apparition anyway. I don't need another Fading Hope. I definitely need the land, but do I need another Galvanic Iteration? Not badly. The opponent might mess with me, though. We might end up playing a longer game because they do play Elite Spellbinder. And this might help us remove some threats. What else might we need to rebuke? These just look like a bunch of nerds. All right. One, one acquired. It just so happens that today my quest is to attack with like 30 creatures. So we got to start that party somewhere. How did I know that would happen? Good draw. Is there anything to copying expressive iteration? If we hit a one drop, we could play it. Nah, I think we just kill their stuff after hitting our land drop. Okay, we're not going to hit that land drop, but we have another expressive for the next turn. Oh, we're going to hit a land drop. We're just not also going to kill their uh, things. Man, if I had a crab right now. They might play a Mimic. I guess if they play a Mimic, we have a pretty cool response. Red, red. I guess we might need another red. We definitely need another blue, though. Maybe I should have waited just because we have to decide whether we're, like, tripling a Demon Bolt, for example. I miss Fabled Passage so much. So much! I think we take the damage. Well, block one takes some damage. I think we're holding. I kind of want the opponent to go for a Glass Pool Mimic here and respond. I also don't know if they have interaction. We've seen Test of Talents, but that's it. They're fading, hoping their own captain. I will demon bolt it. Okay, they have no reactions. Fading, hope, inquisitor captain looks fun. Kind of a bad apparition here. Let's hold the fading hope to go with the galvanic iteration. We're a little bit of land away from some hideous laughter. Whoa. Um, we take those. Forget the land. We're going for the deck. Twenty cards. This is gonna be easy mode, baby. Twenty cards. Iteration, iteration, cacophony, bye bye. That's the plan. We go to 12. Professor of some blah blah blah. Mascot exhibition. All right. If they drew a test of talents, they've got a shot, right? But that ha that's like the only thing. That resolved way too easily. Fireball the deck. Oh, test was on top? No. Should have looted with the professor instead of learning. 
Look, they they came prepared. Test of talents, three. There were like three copies in there or something. Wrecked it anyway. <laughs> Silent sniper, yeah, I'm gonna trust you. Can we just not can we just not play wolves? It's only the third time today. Can we just play more of those control games? Those were fun. No crab. How do other people draw all their crabs? I want that account. On the play. Yeah, take three. They're a long way from 27 life. What is their hand if that's their play? What are they cooking over there? <laughs> uh, yeah? I think we divide something, but teachings isn't going to work. So next turn, we're probably going to cast divide, then we're going to cast sciences, then we're going to foretell dual strike, then the next turn we can double laughter, but if we get up to six mana, we can triple. It wasn't good enough last game. Not salty about it at all. Maybe it'll be good enough this game. back we have no need of your innkeeping skills here foretell the dual strike foretell the demon bolt I think we're going to use the demon bolt sooner none of this is going to help us draw land though Fading Hope might have to do that. So maybe we need a, a stop on our next upkeep and try to Fading Hope into a land. I'm going to set up the Dual Strike. Don't know if that's right. Because Demon Bolt Galvatic Iteration can solve things, but we don't have to solve anything for a turn or two yet because of Fading Hope. And we really need the one mana cheaper on Dual Strike for our pop-off turn. Katilda, I want to play a Katilda deck. Uh, enough of these werewolves, man. Land. Needed it. Red, red, blue. Actually, I take down my blue mana shields, opponent. We can dual strike Demon Bolt this way if we absolutely need to for some reason. Untap land though. Untap land, baby. Okay. I don't think they I don't think they have an instant speed source of life gain. I could get so burned here. Eighteen. They're keeping the treasure. All right, we've got time, but if we draw an untapped land, I'm doing it. Mm. 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 Who dis? Mm. 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 Come on, baby, don't leave them with one card this time. They have 49. Triple wasn't good enough against Wolves with 43. But I think this deck has a lower curve. Let's find out. They wouldn't one-card me twice in one day, would they? 
14. What? How? Emiria's call? We didn't even exile these two Emiria's calls. <laughs> oh my gosh. This, this, this guy right here. Wait. Did we do it? Did we do it? Never. It didn't work last time. Never. Didn't. Have it. Hallelujah! Justice has been restored to the arena. To fairy avatar. If, if, if your avatar means anything, you're going to hate this game. But where are the crabs? Somebody call up legend. LVD, where are my crabs? Red. Red. That's going to be tough. Um, we don't need to kill a Rahilda. We can foretell a Demon Bolt to kill a Rahilda. So I don't need a Jwari here. But we definitely need to be thinking Jwari the turn after. I am personally offended when they scry to the top and I didn't mill them. It's like, that shouldn't have happened. Think we'll hit a red if we do this? It's a little risky. Although them taking cards from me isn't the worst thing. Let's just do this. Oh no, it's a three drop. What will we do? Back to the nether realm with you. Where are our combo pieces, though? All right, nighttime is the right time. We could have kept it off night with an iteration, but hopefully they can't take dramatic advantage of it with an untapped land and a reckless storm seeker or something like that. Ah. I mean. Guys, this perfectly counters our plan. They're putting cards back into their library. I guess we need you. I don't really want to bounce that thing. So I guess I'm playing the tap land. I don't think they have another land. So we can probably, unless they top it, we can Jwari a Townraiser Tyrant next turn. Is that better than letting them put four more cards in their deck, though? Or are we supposed to rebuke this? I think... Dude, I think we hold. If we rebuke this, though, it goes back to Knight. Then they play a Tyrant. Then we kick an... Cacophony, then we are at nine, probably lower, like six, and then we have to top deck like Hideous Laughter or something like that. But that is where we are anyway. So holding up mana and countering the Town Razor isn't going to save us. All right. Well, I'm glad we flipped it to daytime. A little less damage. 52 cards! Freaking cheating, man. How do they get away with this stuff? Alright. Pretty good hits. Pretty good hits. We want to demon bolt that thing. We can do that this turn. 
And then we can hold a fading hope or a divide by zero. Is it supposed to be the fading hope or the divide by zero, guys? I think it's supposed to be the hope. Just try to scry our way to the right cards. Red, red, red. Is it supposed... Is this supposed to be on red or blue? I guess triple red might be important with dual strike. Tricky game, guys. Really tricky game. This uh, might buy us a turn to Cacophony Kick, and then if we top deck a Laughter, it should be good enough. Very tricky game. Power up your bugbear. Do it. Falling directly into my trap. They even played their land already. Owie. Now you exile three cards. Ha ha ha. All right, guys. That's it. Oh, wait. We can dual strike it. What's that going to do? 25, then 12. Then we have to top deck exactly laughter because Cacophony won't be good enough. I don't know if we're supposed to dual strike a kicked Cacophony, guys. If we dual strike a kick Cacophony, they'll be on 12. And we have to exactly draw Laughter. If we Cacophony and they're on 25 and we draw another Cacophony, that's not enough either, is it? All right. We should just go for it. Maybe we can draw Iteration to draw into both combos, right? If we don't go for it there, there is a chance, like we draw a Galvanic Iteration, but we don't have enough mana to do that and Dual Strike and kick the Cacophony anyway. So we do need another Mill Spell. There's no way around it. All Exile 3! This is it, guys. A Crab won't do it. Because they Exiled 3, a Cacophony now is a lethal draw. It has to be Cacophony or Laughter or Expressive Iteration into those things. Awesome. Cool. What a draw. Man, you just, you gotta get everything right against aggro and there's so many reckless storm seekers in this Platinum world. And we are back for the post-game wrap and, uh, Actually got 56% win rate, 67% uh, on the play, 33 on the draw. I would expect that, 5 and 4 um, on the draw has got to be pretty hard for a mill combo deck like this. 0 oh, and 2 against Mono Red, not that shocking, except I lost to mill playing Mono Red on my video. Whatever, that never, we're just going to forget that ever happened. A lot of, lot of wolves out there today, lots of werewolves coming at us all over the place. In fact, uh... You know, anything with white or blue, though, boom, hundo percento win rate. Very, very solid in the right matchups. Very terrible. <laughs> like, I, I think here's 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 the thing. Wolves, really bad. Green, we need a god draw to beat them. Probably really bad. Red, probably really bad. But clerics, the green-white life gain deck, whatever the heck, the Wick, Wick Witcher effigy deck that Crokey's popularized, that deck... Like, anything with Lolf in it, that deck, Wedding Invitation type decks, absolutely. And anything in blue and red other than the exact mirror, it's, it's, it's a hammer. It's a, really, it's a really precise meta tool. Use it with care and precision. And you can even play it in standard if you cut the divide by zero because now that's banned in that particular format and find a replacement for it. I messed with a lot of replacements for it. Really, I was just looking for more card selection to go off faster, so I think I used Arcane Infusion. I think that card is... That's the name of the card, I think. Yep. I was just using Arcane Infusion to try to put the combo pieces together, and I think I also added, like two disdainful strokes and two arcane infusions that's what i do in standard if you want to do standard anyway that's the deck you really hate alchemy mill it to death 
I know I'll hate alchemy more if everybody's milling it to death. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Let me practice my hideous laughter. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're cool.